Hi there, I'm Shay Rippinger here of Hit the Hoopla, here to give you a quick tutorial of how to do snake arms. We're going to do this quickly and in baby steps and help hopefully having it look as graceful as possible with practice in time that will happen. All right, so what we're going to do is this is the general direction that we want to be heading with this. Not like this and not stumped over like this. So we want to be long, lean, and graceful in our movements and extended in our arms and fingertips. So first off, I'm going to have you do what I call a cheating belly dance hands. Take the hands in like so. So, so thumb and middle finger, slide them forward, flip them over. Now you're going to leave your hands like that, glued together with fingers, and keep this nice and long. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to just start out with one arm. So I'm going to start with the right arm, and you're going to be leading with the elbow, and, the el and you're only going to be using this much movement with the elbow. It's going to tra travel in this path here. So not too far up, not too far down, because it's going to yank your shoulders and rotator cuffs out of alignment. So we don't want to do that. We're going to keep this nice and slow and limited. So you can twist your body a little bit with this, but you want to try and keep your core nice and central and not moving all over wiggly, warm, and noodle-like with this. So this is more of an isolation move with just the arms and the hands. Of course, you can take this to whatever you want to be doing with this. So what we're going to do, start with the right arm, and I'm going to lead with the elbow is going to lead up, and the elbow is going to lead down. Elbow leads up, elbow leads down. And again, you're going to let the hand be in this belly dance, cheating hands position here. Cheating belly dance hands, flip that over. And you are also going to make sure that you're going to think of this as having a wall in front of you and a wall behind you, like world's tiniest little hallway, like here. So we're going to be taking this and floating this up and down. And we're trying not to move this out here. We're just trying to move this as if we're squished in between these two walls here and getting this up and down. Now this is going to really work your shoulders and arms. So if you need to, take a break, shake this out a little bit, and then we're going to try this again. So elbow leads up like you have a little string that's pulling the elbow up, and then elbow leads down. Elbow leads up, elbow leads down. So you're going to lengthen the arms, let them really take up a lot of space here. Make sure you keep pressing that shoulder down, this nice tall dance uh, posture. You want to have nice dance posture here. Nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back. Keep that shoulder lifted. Keep the abdominal wall in. Hips tucked up, tucked under. And as if you have a little string coming out the top of your head. So elbow leads up, elbow leads down. Elbow leads up, elbow leads down. Like you're a little teapot. <laughs> okay? So that's just one side. Shake that all out. Now we're going to try it on the left. Same thing. So cheating belly dance hands. Flip that over. So we're going to, elbow's going to lead up in that short range of motion here, short range of motion, short range of motion, like two walls. So up and down and up and down. Keep working that side, the left side. And this is what it looks like from behind, up and down, up and down. So now we're gonna put them both together, the right side and the left side. So one is going to lead up as the other, and as that first side leads down, the other side is gonna come up. So what's going to happen is we're going to start with the right again. So right elbow goes up, and as that starts floating down, the left elbow is going to come up. And as that starts floating down, the right elbow is going to come up. And then as that floats down, the left elbow is going to come up. So that you're making it equal and floaty. So think of yourself as a piece of seaweed, really slow moving seaweed in the ocean and just floating with a really gentle current. So you want to do this nice and slow. Again, keep this nice and long and extended. So floating up, floating down, floating up, floating down. Now, I haven't uh, addressed the hands just yet other than to do that cheating belly dance hands to keep those lines long. But as one comes up, you're just going to flip and twist this up and over and let that float down. So floating up, floating down, floating up, floating down or whichever side you're looking at you're floating both postures so float 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 so that is a really quick description of how to easily and gracefully and quickly get the belly dance snake arms now there are all kinds of different ways that you can do this you can add variations you can you can start adding the head in with this and taking this into a sidewinder there's all kinds of neat things and 
if you haven't done this already, I have a tutorial that shows you how to add this with the hoop with the wrap winder hoop tutorial. I will link that in the description of this. And you can also do this as a belly dance, as a hooping move, use this belly dance inspired movement. It is the belly dance move with the snake arms. So you want to keep the arms up and lifted out of the hoop. So you want to keep the arms lifted a little bit above if you're hooping on the waist. You, if you're hooping on either the hips or the legs, you don't have to worry about your range of motion as much and hitting the hoop so that it goes down. But that is some, something that you can do, a really beautiful dance move that you can incorporate into your hoop dance practice or just use this and incorporate it into your dance practice. So I hope you've enjoyed that and try this. Let me know how you like this in the comments. So if you haven't already, uh, hit the like, thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel, please, so that I get more helpful videos out. Let me know what you'd like to learn next as well. So subscribe and then also hit the notifications on. I come out with new tutorials all the time, so check the hoop, hoop tutorial playlist and also the dance moves and also the Hoop Love Y'all show, which I do on a weekly basis where I talk about health, humor, and hooping, and I do a hoop tutorial in each one. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to do snake arms and how to get these gracefully and how to get that with the hoop. So practice, practice, practice. It helps to practice in a mirror and also to video yourself. So you want to take a video. You don't have to necessarily post it anywhere, but you want to be not your own worst critic, but see how well that you are progressing through the movement and see how the side, if it's looking good from the side. If I don't see this hand over here, then that's what it's supposed to look like. I might see the hand just gently flipping over, but I shouldn't see that arm because it shouldn't be right here. It should be nice and easy. So when you're using a mirror to be able to monitor your progress and make those micro adjustments, that is very helpful. And also when you video yourself, you'll know what you're doing. And so you don't have to keep criticizing yourself because that doesn't help at all, but you can just help make progress of how to improve those little elements and do the micro adjustments. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. I really appreciate you being here. So thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, all the good stuff. So rock on, peace out. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.